G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can use Power Automate to interact with an external API, receive some data from that API, and then post an adaptive card to a Microsoft Teams channel. Now the use case that I'm going to run through here is all around uh, my creator coin that I have launched recently called Loop. Now what I wanna do is rather than going out and fetching and having a look at the current price of, of the coin, I want to uh, have that come to me in, a, in a, a, a Teams message. So there's an API that I'm going to, an open API that I'm going to um, request that information from. I'll craft a, an adaptive card uh, and then we'll post that on a recurring schedule uh, into a Microsoft Teams channel. So let's kick things off and um, have a look at how we go about doing that. And maybe this can then um, spark some, some creativity and some ideas on how you could use something similar uh, to in, in your environment to get updated or to post some adaptive cards into Microsoft Teams. So let's have a look at what we're going to set up. You can see here that this is the completed Power Automate flow here. It is on a recurrence. We're using this uh, HTTP um, action here. We're going to then receive the data from this API URL, um, and then we're gonna pass that the return JSON and then craft an adaptive card, and then post that to a particular channel. So rather than going through this, we're going to start this uh, again from scratch. All right, so I'm going to go and create uh, a brand new Power Automate flow. And let's have a scheduled cloud flow and let's call um, this flow um, get loop coin update. And I wanna start that at this time, that's fine. And let's go every day at 10 a.m. And let's just create this flow. It's gonna be blank and we've got the recurrence already set up. Now, the first thing that we wanna do at that particular time is go and grab the data. So the next, the first step we're going to use here is this H, under HTTP um, and it is a premium action here. All right, so when you click on the info, it just gives us a little bit of information. We can choose a REST API to invoke, um, and let's now select that, but it is a premium action. Now the method here that we're going to use is just a simple get method, and the request URL, which I've got in the tab here, is this open um, API URL here. So all I'm going to do is copy this URL and I'm going to paste that in this address, uh, in this text box here. That's the first step that we're going to do. Now the next step is we need to we need to pass the information uh, that comes back when we invoke that API. So you can see that this is the this is the return value here, and it's in JSON format. All right, nice and easy to pass. And there's actually um, another. Uh, action here called pass JSON automatically there for us. All right, so what we wanna do is pass the return value uh, into the, this content text box, and then we need to build and generate the schema from this. So the first thing we do here is we click in the content uh, text box here, and I'll want to have the, the entire body of the response. So we'll click on body, and then we need to generate a sample or the schema for this JSON. So I'm going to use the generate from sample. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to copy this response that I get from the API, and I'm going to generate the schema from this sample payload, all right? And we'll click done, and automatically here, it's going to create this schema for me, all right? So we are good to go. The next step is that we wanna build out now a nice adaptive card that we wanna to post to the Microsoft Teams channel. Now, there is a, a great uh, UI called Adaptive Cards IO that allows you to basically in the um, a, a drag and drop type of scenario, allows you to create adaptive cards in the browser. So I'm just gonna drag that across here and you can see that I'm in uh, the UI, it's Adaptive Cards cards.io forward slash designer. Now I'm just going to use the test um, card here 
that uh, is, is launched when you first open it up. You'll also notice on this tab, I've just made some adjustments. So I've just changed a few things around here, made the image a little bit bigger, made the text bigger. I've actually also popped in uh, an, an input um, uh, button here. So what this is going to do is actually, I've, uh, I, I can open, uh, use this or what's an action set and the action is going to open a URL. So you can see on the left hand side here, we've got the ability to add different elements or different inputs or different containers and build out our card. So if I flip over here, we can see that um, I can remove the default action sets here, or I can remove anything that I need to. I can change things around. I can make things, and you can look over on the right-hand side here. We can change the layout and the alignment and the height and the style and everything that we need to change in our adaptive card to make it look the way that we want and add any of the information that we want. So what I've gone about doing is just use this default adaptive card here. Now you can see that you can create different types of cards and there's lots of different examples here that you can start as a temp and start um, uh, an adaptive card based on one of these templates. So there's a lot of different options for us here. Okay, so it's a great starting point, great easy way for us to build out a nice uh, looking adaptive card to use. So I've gone ahead and done all that for us. Um, and then I've then also uh, uh, just changed a few things around, made a few things bigger, added a, um, a, an action set here too. And then what we can do is we can grab and copy this whole card, what's called a payload. That's gonna copy everything that we've got in this payload editor. So we can copy this out here and then what we can do is we can create our next step. So the next step, this new step, let's just search for Teams, Microsoft Teams, and we'll select Teams. Now the, the action we're going to add here is we are going to post an adaptive card in a chat or a channel. So we select this action. We then can choose who we post this from. So whether it's from the flow bot or we can choose, we can post it from the user. All right, so I'm gonna choose user and then I've got the option to choose a, either a group chat or a channel. So in my case, I'm going to choose channel and then we go through and we select our team. Now I've set up a specific team for this. We'll call it loop then we'll select the channel that we want to post this to, which is just the general channel. And here is where I post in my adaptive card JSON. All right, we can then add the subject of the post. So let's do this one first and let's just call this loop coin update as the as the subject of the, of the message. And then we're going to paste in the adaptive card JSON. So if we move back over into this, uh, the, the adaptive cards IO designer, we're going to, like we saw before, we can copy the, the JSON payload or the card payload. So I'm going to copy that. That is the, that is the, the, the information that we need to paste in here where it says the adaptive card. So you can see there, that's the adaptive card JSON um, that we're going to, to utilize in this step. Now I've already gone ahead um, and I already have a created uh, a finished product here. So rather than going through and stepping through each and every um, step here, I'm just gonna copy what I've already created. But here, let's just add a couple of things. So you can see here that the first, um, or the image here, we get to pass in a URL. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to remove this URL and you can see from this step here, the pass JSON step or the action, I've got some dynamic content that's come back from the API. And one of the uh, pieces of data that comes back is actually the coin image. And this brings back the, uh, the URL of the coin image. So I'm going to pop that dynamic data in the URL. I'm going to change this, um, the alternate text, just to say loop coin. 
and we'll keep it at medium. And then what we can do here is go down and continue to just replace these text holders. Now, this is the, the main text block block, uh, block here um, that we saw where it says the name. So I'm going to slide this across. And here, I'm just going to substitute the um, the coin name here. So let's look for coin name and you can scroll through and see what gets returned and there's the coin name. All right. So if I flip over now to this already finished one and we're just going to edit this one. It's exactly the same, but I've I've gone through and I've, I've already added all of these sections here. You can see same um, same adaptive card. I've got the URL of the image. I've got the, the coin name here. I've added a couple of little, emo little emojis here. I've used and written a description and the description text. Um, I've then also used um, the price in US dollars and I've added that to this text box here. And there's this action step here. So we're going to open a URL when that button is clicked. All right, what we might actually do is let's just grab this emoji here. We might actually just add an emoji um, to either side of this button as well. Let's now save this. And what we're gonna do, actually this one's already completed. So let's just jump up here. We're going to change the team. So let's change this team over to loop and we'll pop that in the general channel. Let's save this again. And we will now click the test button and let's run this manually for us. So I'm gonna choose manually, we'll go test and then we'll run this flow. And we can have a look uh, and we can go to our flow runs page and just make sure that that actually uh, runs and gets, um, gets run successfully. But let's now jump over to the team. So we can see here that we've got our first um, uh, adaptive card posted to the team. And you can see that I'm logged in as Megan, but over in this screen over here, I'm actually logged in as another user that has uh, access to this team as well. You can see I'm logged in as Alex. And here I've got the exact same adaptive card. We can still do our reactions and all that sort of stuff too. Um, and then if we click this button, that's actually going to open up the URL that I've entered in uh, for um, that action or that button there that I've, I've added to the adaptive card. All right, so in a matter of minutes, what we've actually done is build out a really great way, interactive way to post any uh, data or any information or updates coming from an external API and then we can get that posted to a Microsoft Teams channel. It just means that now every day I get an update in a particular channel and I don't need to go out and actually actively search for, uh, in this case, the USD price of the Loop coin. So there we have it. I hope that brought you some value um, and it really is a, a Power Automate 101, but uh, I know there's a lot of you out there that are just starting out with Power Automate and this is a great way for you to test things out. There's a lot of APIs that you can use to build out some nice um, nice uh, adaptive cards to post to Microsoft Teams. Now, if you would like to find out more about uh, the Loop Coin, I will actually um, post uh, down below uh, in the, the comments and also on the screen here, um, I'll, I'll point you in a, the direction of a, a nice easy form for you to fill out. And I wanna bring you into the Loop Collective, into the Inner Loop by giving you and gifting you a free Loop Coin. So um, follow the directions in the comments, set up your Solana wallet. If you already have a Solana wallet, then fill out the form, pop your uh, wallet address in there, uh, and then I will gift you and give you a free Loop coin to get you started uh, and become involved in the Loop Collective. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.